When you travel, do you worry about your home being safe? Or think about the safety of your kids while touring a foreign country? We found an indulgence many millionaire travelers can't resist. A dog. He might seem cute, fluffy. He can even be a trusted playmate for your kids. But watch out. This pet has a secret. In a blink, the bundle of fur snaps into a bolt of terror. This concealed weapon is the ultimate millionaire indulgence for travel or at home. It's one of a new generation of top-of-the-line security dogs. A protector in disguise. But these pups don't come cheap. Each dog costs up to an indulgent 50 grand. We found these pricey pets here, at this secluded compound outside of Aiken, South Carolina. That's two hours from Charleston. Harrison Prather is the mastermind behind these multiple personality hounds. He runs one of the world's top guard dog schools, the Harrison Academy. The difference between my dogs and an attack dog, per se, is my dogs can be around people. They're social. Uh, you can put one of these dogs around kids. Want to know who buys these pricey canines? Harrison's client list is strictly confidential. A lot of entertainers that, uh, of course, you recognize their names instantly. Uh, a lot of professional athletes, people in government. And you have to be a millionaire to care for these pampered pooches. I've had clients that uh, have uh, bought expensive SUVs for exclusive use with the dog, uh, spent several million dollars extra on a larger jet so the dog would be more comfortable when they flew. We were allowed a rare look inside this training camp. Our cameras uncovered the confidential techniques that create these killers in camouflage. In this exercise, we show the dog pursuing an adversary, being called out of the bite prior to making contact, turning back to the handler. And this is one of the most important things that we can do with an animal because it shows ultimate control. Power is nothing without control. The canines are trained to ferociously protect their wealthy owners, no matter where they are. The dog will attack you without command, protect his handler. Do you understand me? Yes. Do not move. He always understands that his first obligation is to protect you. The dogs learn how to conduct security sweeps. So if you come home one day to find your door open... We teach the dogs to do what we call house search or building search. That's where the dog goes in and makes sure that there's not an intruder. If there is an intruder, the dog will bite and hold. <laughs> And let's say your child has wandered off into the woods when, without warning, an attacker appears. The dog starts bite and hold until he's called out of the bite. How can an attack dog also be this gentle? The secret lies in its classy European breeding. The Europeans breed dogs to a particular standard. They have to be structurally sound. Every aspect of of their lineage is kept up with from uh, for, for the last hundred years. After three years at the world's top obedience schools, the dogs are brought here to the hills of South Carolina for 12 weeks of final academy training. Here they're taught to assert their wild side and become savage fighters, but only when necessary. It really doesn't matter how fast the adversary is running, the dog comes out of the chute at 30 miles an hour. Unlike other guard dogs, they attack out of conditioning, not fear. Fear has been trained out of them. The secret? Puffing up the dog's ego. You're bigger than he is, and, you know, in the world, technically, he should be afraid of you. But he's not, because he has no idea he can be defeated. And you want to instill that confidence in them, build that confidence. We also found that, get this, these dogs are even bilingual. The commands are, are talked to the owners uh, so they can work them in both German and 
English and German. We, we say, want the dog to come, we say, here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. We want the dog to sit, we say, sits. Sits. I want the dog down, we say, plots. Plots. Good girl. Yeah. The more specialized the dog, the higher the price. The more training the dog has, the, the higher the price, and of course, uh, sometimes the, the dogs cost more because of the lineage that, uh, and the background and so forth. The highest price that I've ever sold a dog for was around $50,000. Here's the biggest surprise. You can't just stop by and pick up one of these pups. Millionaires who want this indulgence have to be trained too. If you don't train the owner, there's no point in buying a dog. I'm just going to show you some fundamental things. We're just going to start slow. We're going to work at your pace. Okay. Okay. I just don't think that anyone would uh, try and mess with us with uh, that dog in our house. The dog uh, is, a, is, a, is a physical and psychological deterrent, and people have this, in, uh, this inherent fear of being eaten by an animal. And they're not afraid of guns and not afraid of bodyguards. That's what deterred. It's a millionaire's indulgence for traveling or just staying safe at home.